In this video, we will learn about put call parity. Put call parity establishes a relationship between the price of European put options and European call options with the same underlying asset, strike price, and expiration date. Put call parity states that, simultaneously holding a short European put and long European call of the same class, will deliver the same payoff, as holding one futures contract on the same underlying asset, with the same expiration. Suppose that, you purchase a European call option for ABC stock at the strike price of 500 rupees. The expiration date is one year from now, and the premium you pay is 100 rupees. Now, you also sell a European put option for ABC stock, at the same strike price, and expiration date, and you receive 100 rupees as a premium. You can visualize the payoff diagram for the long call and the short put. Here, if you add the profit and loss on the long call, to that of the short put, then your profit and loss would be exactly equal to the futures contract, for ABC stock bought, expiring in one year. There is another way to imagine put call parity. Let's look at the performance of two portfolios, A and B. Portfolio A consists of a European call option for a strike price, X, of 500 rupees, and a zero coupon bond which pays 500 rupees, which is equal to the strike price of the call option, at maturity. Portfolio B consists of a European put option having the same strike price, and expiry date as the call option, and the stock of the underlying asset on the same underlying as the call option. Here we are not assuming any transaction fees. Now, we calculate the payoff for both portfolios. If the stock price goes up to 600 rupees at expiry, for portfolio A, the value of zero coupon bond at expiry is 500 rupees, and the payoff of the call option is 100 rupees, that is, 600 rupees minus 500 rupees. Therefore, the total worth of portfolio A is 600 rupees, which is the same as the stock price, ST, at expiry. The worth of portfolio B is stock price, S, that is 600 rupees. Since the put option expires worthless, as share price is higher than the strike price, and the stock price is 600 rupees. Now, suppose the stock price falls to 400 rupees at expiry. For portfolio A, the call option is out of the money, it expires worthless, and the worth of zero coupon bond is 500 rupees. Hence, the worth of portfolio A is 500 rupees at expiry. For portfolio B, the payoff of the put option is 100 rupees, that is, 500 rupees minus 400 rupees, and the stock price is 400 rupees. Hence, the total worth of portfolio B is 500 rupees at expiry. From the table, we can summarize that both the portfolios A and B are worth maximum of ST, X. Since both the portfolios have same values at expiration, they must have same values today, as the options are European, it cannot be exercised prior to expiry. And if this is not true, there is an arbitrage opportunity. A trader can go long on the undervalued portfolio, and short the overvalued portfolio, and make risk-free profit at expiry. This brings us to the conclusion that, if the two portfolios are equal at time t, then they should be equal at any time, and is given by the following equality. Where C is the call price, P is the put price, X is the strike price of the call and put, S0 is the initial price of the underlying, R is the rate of interest, T is the time to expiry, and the whole E to the power minus RT is the discounting factor. One important thing to note is that put call parity is not valid for American options, unless they are held till expiry. To learn options trading and various strategies in detail, enroll for our free course. Options Trading Strategies in Python Basic, on Quantra. The link to the course is in the description below.